Why do so many women accept anything from a man just to say that they're either in a relationship, married, or about to be married? Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome to my channel, It's Shay's Life. A lifestyle channel that consists of vlogs, fashion videos, makeup tutorials, relationship tips and advice, and all showing life after a toxic relationship. If you want to know more about what's around the corner or how you can survive after getting out of a toxic relationship, keep watching. So today we're going to talk about idealizing marriage. Why is idealizing marriage so wrong or are you idealizing marriage and don't even realize it? Um, and how can one idealize marriage and allow them to get into, into the cycle of toxic and abusive relationships. So first, I guess we should even talk about what idealize mean. So the Webster Dictionary says idealize is to worship as a god, or to love or admire to excess, to practice ideology. So that's basically what idealize mean. So what does it mean when somebody says, you're idolizing marriage or somebody asks you, are you idolizing marriage? And basically, in a nutshell, it means when you're so focused on marriage, getting married, being in the relationship, that you do anything basically to get there. There's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to get married, wanting to have a family, but when it becomes where you're thinking about that so much that you're not thinking about anything else, you're not thinking about what God has for you, you're not thinking about what your purpose is on life and what you should be doing to achieve the God-given purpose that he put you on this earth for. When you're not living or when it takes up and encompasses everything when it encompasses your prayer life and i'm not saying don't pray for your future marriage don't pray for your future spouse but when that's when like you're only praying for or you're like oh i need it i need it i need it that's when you are idealizing it so i have about seven things that i want to talk about or point out about idealizing marriage and how it affects us or how we do it so like i mentioned before you accept any kind of treatment from a man that's number one it's so important to understand your worth because if you don't understand your worth or you're constantly thinking about wanting to get married you will accept anything because oh this guy is so nice or he talks about he wants to marry me he talks about how he wants a family with me girl that don't mean jack diddly squat if this man is not after God's own heart like you are, if you guys are Bible-believing Christians, more likely he's just saying stuff just to get you into this web of lies that he's cultivated. And ultimately, he's just trying to get you under his control. The second thing is compromising your beliefs. So whatever your beliefs may be, whether it's uh, abstaining from sex until marriage, whether it's not doing drugs, uh, whether it's um not drinking whatever your belief is uh believing in god or walking down this particular re religion and this person this guy or this girl because it can happen either way but nine times ten we do see you know girls in this situation but you felt yourself compromising for this guy a lot of times it's the fear of not getting married that causes you to do all these things. Another thing is staying in a relationship longer than you want to, than you know you need to, because you're afraid that once you leave this person, you will never be with somebody again. Um, marriage goes out the window. Being in a relationship goes out the window. And girl, let me tell you, when we finally realize what we are worth, what our value is, as a being and what value we bring to the relationship man <laughs> you will walk out that relationship so quick because you realize that this guy is not seeing you 
for who you are. This guy is not valuing the type of person they are. They see you as this little person, this little thing that they can walk all over. Girl, you are worth so much more than that. Do not demean yourself just to be in a relationship. Do not demean yourself just to say that you have a man. Do not demean yourself just so you can walk down the aisle because it takes so much to just, it takes more to stay married than it does to be married, to get married. Anybody could get married. Don't go down the street and get married. But do you have what it takes to stay married? That's the question. Let go of the idea of what relationship is what marriage is and start working on yourself because once you if you're not working on yourself and becoming whole you will end up in a type of relationship that you would never have imagined yourself to be in or marriage and you find yourself getting divorced and then you're thinking about oh my gosh what about these kids yada 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 it's not worth it at the end of the day. So on top of that, staying in an unhealthy relationship. A lot of times we as women, when we are so focused on being in a relationship or be, because I was with this guy for two years, the next step is marriage. Or because I was with this guy for five years, the next step is marriage. Because I was with this guy for 10 years, the next step is marriage. You have been so unhappy. You cry yourself to sleep almost every night. He's uh, continued to show you again that he really doesn't love you or care about you, even though he says he does. His actions don't show it. You know that you deserve better, but you're so afraid to walk out. When you are in a relationship that makes you so unhappy, and I'm not saying that a guy is gonna be perfect or we as females are gonna be perfect. No matter what relationship you're gonna be in, you're gonna have quarrels, that's normal. But when it comes to the point where you are quarreling like almost every day, or you're so unhappy every day, you find yourself getting depressed almost every day, a lot of times it's because of that relationship that you're in. Because it's so draining that it's not uplifting you and you're like, ah, you feel trapped and you just want to break free. Girl, you can break free. You can break free. You can break free. You can break free. Don't allow a guy's lies, a guy's inhibition to do anything, make you stay in that relationship. If you notice over the past, six months, year, two years, however long you've been with this guy, that he has not changed or he says one thing but does the other, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be that way when you guys get married. It may even get worse. Another point is believing if you give up the goods, then you're in. So, he's told you that he doesn't wanna get married to you because you guys haven't had sex before. Um, and he did, believes that he needs to try it out first before you guys get married. Once he realizes how good it is, he's gonna pop, pop the question. That is a lie from the pit of hell. First of all, you are not some car that needs to be test driven. If you do not wanna give the goods until you're mar married, don't give the goods until you're married. If this guy does not understand that you value yourself and you don't want to just open your legs to anybody, he ain't worth it. If this guy tries to control and manipulate situations just to get you to be intimate with him, even though it's something you don't want to do, he ain't worth it. And that's signs of an abusive, toxic relationship. He is not worth it and walk away. Don't even walk, run girl, and don't even look behind you. Romanticizing romance and love. I think a lot of times, we get so confused about what marriage is supposed to be or supposed to look like. We look at all these movies and all these romance and read all these romance novels and people are like, oh, I love you. First of all, if nobody told you this, let me be the first. Love is a feeling and it's fleeting. So you never want to be married to someone that you Oh, I love this person. Because if you're not building something, if there's no foundation there, you're gonna wanna get divorced. Because you have to choose every day to love this person. You have to choose every minute this person gets on your nerves that no matter what, I still love this person. You have to choose every day to be romantic and make sure you have your date nights and build the, be the, Make sure the romance is there because these are all feelings. If you just go with the motions, 
you fall in and out of love so quickly that your head gonna keep spinning. Don't be tricked by the illusion or the romantic romanticization of love and romance that you're willing to stay in a relationship with somebody longer than you need to be. The seventh point is expecting this other person to validate your feelings, to make you feel complete. Anytime that you, anytime that you're in a relationship with someone or married to someone, it should be two whole people, two whole people coming together to make one. If one person is broken, you cannot expect the other person to come heal you. First of all, only God can heal. And when you're put so much faith and hope and expectation in this person to make you feel whole and complete and loved, they're going to let you down every time. Every time you're going to get let down. Every time you're like, oh, but I thought they loved me, but they just did this. Man, it's going to happen. Do you know how many healthy relationships that I've seen, marriages that I've seen, that they say, oh, my husband let me down, or my husband hurt my feelings, or my wife hurt my feelings, or my wife let me down? We cannot expect of humans what only God can give us. So only God can give us pure, unadulterated love. Humans can't give us that. Only God can give us, make us feel complete and, and make us whole. God can't, I mean, humans can't do that. So if you have experienced trauma or were in toxic relationships before, going into relationships to get healed and become whole is not the way to go. It's going to curate for a toxic relationship, uh, break you even more. You need to look to God, our Father, our Creator, and say, God, I need you. Help me to become whole. And once you put your faith and your love and your trust in him, you are on your way. And then when you become whole, you have two people coming together, two old people coming together. And man, will you be a force to be reckoned with. So we cannot go into a relationship or a marriage broken, lonely, not understanding love, and not loving ourselves. It's a recipe for disaster. We expect this other person to help us overcome these things. You will only attract people who will be toxic, abusive people. They will only take from you and never deposit into your life. I come bearing this information from a place of being there and knowing what it's like to want to be married, to have that desire to be married from such a young age. But marriage is not the end all be all. At the end of the day, what I've come to learn in my journey is I want to be with a man who we're working on a purpose together. I want to be with a man who's going to build me up, not somebody who's going to tear me down. I want to be with a man who's going to support my, support my dreams and my goals, not someone who feels like everything I say isn't worthy of life. I really, really hope and pray that you will understand that you're worth so much more and that you will see your worth that you will not continue to allow these men to manipulate and control and tear you down and lower your self-esteem because God has somebody out there for you whether you believe it or not we don't have to force it we don't have to force God's hand we don't have to help God all we have to do is do what he says, be in his word, trust him, and be about his business. Don't focus on the romance and the love. Focus on you, and the marriage will come soon after. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you've experienced any of that, um, let me know. Let me know uh, how I can help you get over that. Because um, we're on this journey together. We're on this journey of healing together. And I want to be there, be your backbone, be your support. And remember, we're only growing from here. Talk to you soon. Bye.